back basically for another Carrara modeling tutorial. So last time I started off, I did like the side of the car. So this is part seven. So I might actually end up going in here. And last time we worked on, we actually worked on the actual car itself. And we try to turn this down. Kind of listening to music in the background. So what I'm going to be doing, honestly, is going into here. And go, go fill it. And I want to try to make this as far poly as possible. So I'm going to go into here and... Move that like that, I would say. Go loop. And I want to just go extract along. Go extract along right here. And that's what I got right here. This is a four, four poly object right here. Actually, we're going to keep it like that. That's the way we're keeping it. So what I'm just going to basically do is go on to left view as now I'm just going to work on this piece right here that's what we want right there so I need to get a proper image of the back so that's what the back is supposed to look like so the back is supposed to kind of stop right there I think and what we want to definitely do right here is we want to do the bottom side skirt right here. So basically what I'm going to be doing, honestly, is going into here and going to double screen right there. Left screen. Make sure we have link on for extrude. So when we extrude, we extrude. And now we're going to hit CTR to extrude that straight through. Right about here. And now we're going to probably bring that to the top view. Move, go left, right click. And we're going to hit move. And that's kind of a shortcut right there. So now when we go into here, um, man, this is really, really slowing down. We're going to go into here and move, go into here and And we're actually going to go into here. And we're going to actually bring that to wireframe on this side. So we click there. And now we're just going to add that. Actually, we hit the wrong piece. We're going to hit extract along right there. Move that right there, I would say. So right there, and before we're going to cut this piece out, what I'm probably going to end up doing is going into right click right here, and 
we're just going to go into here and go left click, click and go into here. And just go extrude like CTR extrude. Move that. Actually, I'm going to move that. So we want to try to take the middle of this, I think. And on the x-axis, we're going to take that thing and go CTR C for copy and copy this function right here. Or we just go right click copy. So we're going to actually go into here and select that and bring that to zero. And go rotate right here. Scale. And we're going to scale that along the x-axis. Zero. And now we're just going to go into here left. So I'm just going to go into here and actually I'm going to move that right about there. And I'm just going to go into here and go into here and go like that. Actually go into here and I'm going to select that and double click on this edge and go loop. And I'm just going to go into extract along. And just move this along there. And just go into top. Go loop right here. Move that right about there. And I'm just going to go into here. So that's the infrastructure we want to model. I mean, I mean, maybe it's not perfect 100%. Move that right there. And this is what we're going to do right here. We're just going to go into here. And this could be right the back piece that's going to be right here that's going to be modeled. So on this piece right here, I might actually end up modeling the back piece on this thing. But that's going to be like another separate piece right here. Right here, I would say.
right here. And that's what I'm going to see right here. And just go into here and go global, I would say. And I'm going to actually go into front view and actually start putting in the back view of this blueprint right here, I would say. This is a back view. So that's the back view right here we have right here. So when we go into here, Invert. I'm just going to go into here and go hide selection, friend. <clears throat> and this is a very, very back selection that we're working on right here. Go into left. And that's kind of the trunk right there we're doing, I would say. And raising this up like that. Go strat along right here. So that's what we would do, and we're going to go front right here. So like that, basically. Actually, I'm going to actually move this entire thing over right here extract exact and and that's where the lights are going to go. So they're going to go right about here, I would say. Right about there. We'll 
We're going to go between right here. Going to extract along right here. And I'm just going to go go into grat link tool right here. I'm going to link this right here. And just go into here and go add tool. Going to left view. Going to here. Go top. Just move that in place right there. So we're just going to go into here and just delete that, I would say. And just going to extrude that right up like this or so. So when we do this, we're going to extrude that. So the bumper, I might as well just kind of do the bumper while I'm at it. So, and So, so I'm just going to go extrude right here, link. Front. Move that right there, I would say. Doesn't really matter, you're gonna you're gonna edit that in the future. Just go into here. I'm 
we're not going to go into detail with this. We're just modeling the structure of this and getting the general structure modeled out of this. So when I go into here and select this, we're going to select zero. Scale. Zero. And that's already scaled at zero. So that's kind of what we're doing right here, I would say, is this piece right here. So now we what we have to do is do the cutout piece right here. Now basically the back piece is supposed to be done right here. So, so before we do the cutout piece, Move this and just go into here and just go into here and deselect that. Extrude. Go extrude right here, and we're going to extrude and hold down CTRL. Go into here. Select that. And select this, I would say. Go that, I would say. Then select this, I would say. And now we're just going to go extrude like here. So when we select that, we're going to sync between. And I might as well do this right now. So this is what we, we're going to do when we actually add final detail to this. We're going to add this infrastructure like that. Like that and add something like that. But we're just leaving this for now. I mean, this is not going to be the final drafting product right here. I mean, what we now want, want to try to do now is try to do the cutout piece that's going to go, I would say, right here somewhere. So we're going to scale that, bring that at zero. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into we're going to actually go into here and go quick fill it right here.
like that. Delete. Just go delete right here. And that's what we would do right here, I think. And what we're going to do right here is kind of like do the infrastructure right here. So, so I mean, this is taking a little bit long, but that's okay. And we want to kind of do the piece where the handle is going to go. So right here, I think... Put that there. So that's what we do. We, we kind of scale a couple of these right here. And that's what we would do right here. So that's what we would do. So when we do this, this actually adds kind of subdivision into the object itself. And then you're right, we would go in into here and... Kind of go into here... And just go into here and move that right there. And that's the infrastructure ready to be used, I would say. Actually, this is good being th three poly, actually. We'll actually put that as three poly. And we'll just like, you know, kind of like have a link tool. I mean, I always could add, let's say this to right here. And that's it. The only thing we had to do, honestly, is kind of take this and draw out the line infrastructure of this, I think. Right here.
So we're going to hit extrude and go CTR extrude. And move that right about there. Go move right there. And move that right about there. And now we're just going to go into here and connect this. Bridge. And just go into here and hit bridge right here too. No, not bridge. Actually, I'm going to hit uh, that right there. Go move. I'm going to hit the polygon tool right here. And we're going to make sure when we see that small little square right at the side right there, that means that it's going to connect these together. And just hit enter like that. And we're going to actually go add and go free constraint. And add a couple of segments like that. Go add the, the, the add tool. And we're going to hit G on our keyboard. And that's a sheet, shortcut key for the this tool. So we keep doing that. And that's it. And then we just go into here and bring that at a hundred percent. And that's what it looks like. And go left so now since that's done the only thing final part is adding all the small details so we're just going to go into here move and we're going to reveal everything right there and just go loop and then we're just going to go invert and we're going to go hide. Loop right there. Loop right there. I'm just going to go extrude. Move right here. So that's what we're going to select right there. And that's what we have. You're right, right there. Right click, move. Reveal. Loop right here. Loop. And we're just going to go like add selection. Invert. And I'm just going to go into here and go hide. And now we're just going to go into this section right here. And select on the outside edges right here. Because this is where we're going to do a lot of our selection. 
is this. And go extrude right here. And just extrude that right there and bring that close into the edge right there. Go right click move while all the selection is still due and we're just going to move that right there. And that's already done basically ready to be used. And then we're going to go into here. Extrude. Just like that. Go extrude right here. Go into here and go CTR extrude right here. Go right click move. Go into here. Right click move. And move that right here and move that go into here and I'm just gonna hit bridge go into edge selection mode right there and select those and hit bridge again Move, polygon select, and that's that's the selection right here, right now, ready to be done. I would say, ready to actually be done. I would say. And that's what we do right here, and that's what it looks like, I would say. <clears throat> and that's what we did right here, basically, and... And I guess that's it. I mean, this is what it looks like so far, I would say. I mean, we're going to go into here and reveal everything. So the back is already done on here. 
Donnie Singh, the next thing what we're going to be working on is kind of the side skirt right here that's going to be used on this thing. And then the next thing what we're going to be doing is the trunk. We're going to start working more on the trunk of the car and getting the trunk on the car, the car completely finished, I would say, on this car on the next tutorial. And then the very last tutorial, what the not the very last, but the final that final finale for the chapter is we're gonna be working more on we're gonna be working on the hood of the car itself and working on the 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 back trunk of the car itself and getting the back trunk structure already done on a car. So that's what it looks like so far, to tell you the truth. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you really like this tutorial a lot. I hope I can help you a whole lot. And that's it with chapter seven, 7 of this tutorial. So I'm going to probably go do a final render of this thing. Get the rendering of this thing done. To show you what the infrastructure of this looks like. And. So I'm just going to go escape. I'm actually going to do current frame. So. Um, render. So that's what it looks like so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to go save as. And then we're just going to go into here and go into um, go into here and um, select this thing. And we're going to select this right here and select the right picture. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and go like car, rara, finished, render, one, seven. And I'm just going to save that as JPEG. So we have our preview image for what we did right there. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna actually go into here and stop this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe, please give me likes, whatever you want, and please subscribe or so. And mention my tutorial to other people. Thank you, goodbye. Space.